What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we'll be discussing should you be continuing to summon on the Grand Cross 5th Anniversary Grand Festival Pull Draw. In this video guys, me giving you guys my reasoning on why you might want, uh, might not want to continue summoning, or you might want to continue summoning depending on your dupe level on Escanor, and also where you kind of finished off on the banner. Um, I do want to, you know, do kind of an in-depth explanation on this, because I know a lot of people be asking me like, oh amazing, do I keep going, you know, if I pull Escanor at like this, you know, specific amount of gem spent, um, and there's a bunch of like, you know, uh, different situations you can be in, but I'll try and cover as much as I can in this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video man definitely make sure to hit that like button and subscribe we've had a ton of support on the channel as of late guys i appreciate all the support you know i see all the comments and all that so uh de I definitely do thank you guys a lot all right guys with that out of the way man let's uh talk about should you continue summoning on the banner so um as you guys can see here on my main account i did about two rotations and an extra 300 gems now that is a lot of gems spent on this banner guys and in terms of how much dupes i got on my Escanor, i actually did finish with a four out of six um you are ultimate Escanor. so yeah i mean that's that's pretty solid considering you know the amount of summons that i did put in you know that's about two rotations and a bit that's about 2100 gems so that if, you know if we're talking about you know how much gems that actually was that was a lot of gems and for only a four out of six Escanor. now you guys might be thinking like amazing is that like is that good is that bad that is really good actually um pulling a uh, a festival main unit uh, on their banner within the pity guys is a lucky you know rotation like that that is just lucky and i know a lot of people be like oh um you know if i'm able to get like six six in like two rotations like that's 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 lucky but i think like that's just obviously that's just like insane luck and that's not really like you know common um but if you do pull at least one copy of Escanor in the rotation i would say you did not get shafted so now in terms of like where you'd want to you know stop summoning or continue summoning on the banner this is really dependent on do you care about dupes on your Escanor? that is one really important thing um Escanor is a character that a lot of people have kind of you know uh already claimed that he's like mainly a will unit and in my opinion i really don't think that's the case guys i think you can use this character at very low dupe and he will still perform very very well um for you guys that don't know on my free to play account i actually pull it up right now um i actually do have two out of six asking on my free to play and he is really really good like i'm able to get champion one you know most of the time and uh yeah i mean he's just very very strong and i don't even have outfits for the character like i'm running free to play outfits as well so this character is a very strong unit even at low dupe level and even though you know two out of six does get you that buff you know where when he dies he does extra damage to the uh enemies um that's not necessarily even needed i think one of the six Escanor is a good amount and you really don't need more than that guys i think that's gonna be um a good uh dupe you know spot to even be at like if you do want to chase do so i think two out of six is an option um but one of six is completely fine so with that in mind how should you go about summoning on Escanor's banner if you already pulled him within the rotation but you're like okay you know since you did get lucky and, and you want to actually get another copy should you go to 900 from that point in my opinion i would definitely say so i mean if we uh you know look on the banner here in terms of the characters that are featured we got one of the best banners in grand cross history guys like look at all the characters we got in here man eternal sun Escanor, eras and demon king meliodas like queen elizabeth demon king you know queen hell mael transcendent bond ultimate Escanor. one of the best festival lineups we've ever gotten and if you need any of these characters i mean you know summoning on this that gets you a lot of value in the sense of you're pulling a lot of these units man um really really good in terms of the festival lineup even just the regular you know filler here not a bunch of like super desirable units but there are a lot of them are seasonals and seasonals are not characters that you get too often man they don't really rerun seasonals often and they only really bring them on like festival banners and stuff like that so you know just being able to pull characters like that you know like summer margaret and like halloween merlin you know christmas roxy even this like golden wings elena i don't think she's like a really a seasonal but she is a character that's never on banners tears really good you know tristan's not really on banners he's a seasonal as well freya is not on banners either like yeah no like overall even roxy another really good unit like yeah man like it's really hard to say like you know to stop summoning on this banner i know a lot of people were tempted to even go past you know like two rotations like i did right um but overall though guys like if you are within the rotation like let's say you're out where i am right now but this was like your first rotation let's say you pulled Escanor at 330 and you're like oh do i continue summoning for the 900 do you care about the rest of the characters on this banner in terms of the filler if you do 
then why not go to 900 and pick up an Escanor? You get the two out of six, and you might have a chance to pull some other characters on the banner that could be really good for you. Another thing that you might want to do instead of summoning on this banner though guys is waiting till the outfits for Escanor are available for gems. Now is this something you want to be doing you know considering that it's not going to be on discount or anything like that do you want to be spending 30 gems per outfit on Escanor and in my opinion if you're maining this character in PvP it might not be a bad idea and specifically in you know ungeared PvP where you really need as much CC as possible if you wanted to buy these outfits like I honestly i wouldn't even be opposed to you guys getting these um obviously when they're available for gems right now they're still available for for money um but in the next eight days though they will be available for gems and you'll be able to buy them individually and i think at that point if you are you know maining on gear pvp you're trying to get you know a champion one every single week this Askinor obviously benefits a lot from getting outfits and, and he'll increase his damage he'll increase his tanking everything uh you know across the board will be buffed with Askinor. And this is a guaranteed result whereas with summoning on the banner you could get shafted going to that 900 man like that is definitely something you gotta think about like if you you know let's say again as i mentioned like if you pull him around this area and you're like okay i got a good amount of gems i'm able to get to 900 but maybe you could spend you know 300 of those gems on outfits and then Askinor would be maxed out outfits you get a bunch more cc and it wouldn't be rng reliant because you're just gonna buy them outright whereas if you're summoning on the banner you know you could get scammed you could get shafted um you know those are possible things now let's say you already did one rotation and you're you're contemplating doing a second rotation for dupes um in my opinion guys i don't necessarily think that's worth it unless you do value the banner like a ton in terms of the characters on it and you really do need a lot of this banner it, if you're like a newer player i actually would recommend probably doing you know maybe one or two rotations two rotations could be an option um depending on you know how much you've grinded and you know how much of the game you're really going to continue grinding you know in in terms of getting into the late game content um you know grand cross has a lot of content early on that gives you gems and you're going to be getting gems like really really quickly early on so you don't necessarily want to blow all your you know gems instantly but you also do want to you know summon on this banner considering it is one of the best banners we've ever had and a lot of the characters on it are really good so if you are able to you know get through with like demon king meliodas and you are Askinor, and then maybe like mayel or transcendent bond like that is already good enough festival wise and then even just pulling some of these like unfeatured characters here like golden wings elaine is really nice tier um you have like blue rocks he's really nice for speed running a lot of content like if you're able to snipe some of those units and you're and you're kind of satisfied with the banner then there's really no reason to continue summoning from that point on i think at that point you could easily just stop and you'd be completely fine with you know what you've gotten and you know the filler itself so Another thing to mention as well, guys, is that in less than a week from now on JP, they're going to announce the next part two banner, which is not going to be like a banner that's going to really, you know, entice you to summon over Askinor, I'd say, um, unless you really do care about Forakoa, because it is going to be, you know, a, a brand new character from that show, uh, from the, the, you know, the sequel manga. Um, so if that's something you are interested in, maybe you don't want to be spending too much gems on Escanor and you might want to be saving for that because they might actually put a bunch of good filler on that banner to entice people into summoning on that as well. Yeah, guys, that pretty much covers all the information I wanted to go over in this video. Um, I hope you guys do enjoy the video, though, and let me know if you guys are going to continue summoning on Escanor or if you're still summoning on him right now. Let me know in the comment section below how you guys' summons have been going. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy, and we'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace out. Have a great rest of your day, guys. See you later, man.